Greetings and blessings to you, dear friends. Welcome to our spiritual circle. Have you ever found yourself face to face with a challenge so monumental that it felt like an insurmountable mountain? Well, today's discussion dives deep into understanding why God brings such obstacles into our lives and how faith can help us conquer them. If you've ever faced such a trial, drop a quick amen in the comments. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button to be a permanent part of our prayer circle. Let's start by turning to the Holy Scriptures. In the book of 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13, it is stated that no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful, He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. This divine assurance tells us that the challenges we face are not mere accidents, they are part of God's greater plan for our spiritual growth. The Apostle Paul further elaborates on this in Romans 5 verses 3 to 5, where he speaks about suffering producing perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. Let me share a personal story. A few years ago, I faced a health crisis. The doctors were puzzled, and I was scared. But every night, I surrendered my fears to God in prayer. Months later, not only was I healed, but I also found my purpose, to create this channel and spread the message of faith. Can you relate? Type I can relate in the comments if this resonates with you. So, how can you practice this faith in your daily life? Start with small steps. Spend at least 5 minutes each day in silent reflection or prayer. Keep faith-affirming quotes or scriptures in places you frequently visit. Engage with a faith community, whether it's online or in person. Drop your prayer intentions and names in the comments so we can all uplift each other. To help us better grasp the concept that God not only brings us to challenging situations but also carries us through them, let's look at some scripture passages that encapsulate this idea. Isaiah 43 verse 2 When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned, the flames will not set you ablaze. This verse assures us that no matter the nature of our trials, be they like drowning waters or scorching fire, God is with us. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful, He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. This passage emphasizes God's inherent understanding of our limits and His promise to not give us challenges we cannot handle. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. A go to verse for many, this scripture reminds us that our strength comes from our faith in Christ. When faced with hurdles, it's not our willpower but our faith that empowers us to overcome. James 1 verses 2 to 4 Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. This one urges us to change our perspective about the challenges we face. They are not stumbling blocks but stepping stones that build our character and faith. Psalm 23 verse 4 Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. This timeless psalm reinforces the comforting presence of God, even in the direst of circumstances. By leaning on these scriptures, we can find solace, guidance, and the strength to tackle any obstacles in our path, fortified by the understanding that we are not walking this journey alone. Let us now join in a prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you today, our hearts filled with various emotions, gratitude, hope, but also worry and uncertainty. We acknowledge that life's journey is laden with challenges, some that test our faith, and others that make us question our purpose. Yet, here we are, gathered in your name, united by a faith that tells us you are the everlasting constant in an ever-changing world. We lay our fears at your feet, Lord. Every uncertainty about the future, every challenge that seems too colossal to overcome, we surrender them to you. We confess that we've tried to navigate life's turbulent waters on our own, only to find ourselves lost and overwhelmed. But today, we take solace in knowing that you are our ultimate guide, the lighthouse that steers us away from rocky shores. You said, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. We claim that rest now, God. 
rejuvenate our spirits, refill our empty cups, and restore our weary souls. We also lay before you the prayers and concerns of our community, our friends, our families, and even those we have not met but are united with us in spirit. And for those of you who have shared your prayer intentions in the comments, know that they are included in this collective prayer. May their burdens be lightened, their spirits lifted, and their hearts find the peace they so earnestly seek. Lord, bless us with the gift of perseverance to endure life's challenges. Imbue us with the wisdom to decipher the lessons they bring and the courage to face them head-on, knowing that you are by our side, always. Finally, God, as we go about our lives, let us carry this prayer in our hearts as a shield against despair and a sword against hopelessness. Fill us with joy, hope, and unshakable faith, knowing that if you bring us to it, you will undoubtedly bring us through it. In your holy name, we pray. Amen. If this prayer spoke to you, click the like button to help this message reach more souls in need. In closing, I'd like to emphasize that the trials and tribulations we encounter in our lives are not arbitrary roadblocks or stumbling blocks designed to make us falter. Rather, they are part of a divine orchestration, stepping stones in our spiritual and personal journey that God uses to mold us, shape us, and bring out the very best in us. While the struggles may be tough and the path ahead unclear, remember the essence of our discussion today. If God brings you to it, He will bring you through it. You see, our faith is not tested in times of abundance, but in times of scarcity. Not in days of comfort, but in nights of loneliness and fear. And it is in these testing times that our faith needs to be not just a flickering candle but a raging bonfire that dispels all darkness around us. Lean into your faith when you're on the edge. Turn to the scriptures for wisdom when confused, engage in prayer when you're anxious, and never, ever underestimate the power of a faithful community. Think about the biblical heroes and heroines who have come before us, Moses leading the Israelites through the desert, Esther saving her people, Paul turning his life around to spread the gospel. They all had one thing in common, unwavering faith in God during times of severe trials. Like them, let your faith be your guide, your shield, and your strength. If you're looking for more ways to deepen your faith, browse through our playlist of prayers, insightful spiritual discussions, and Bible studies. There's something for everyone, no matter where you are in your faith journey. And now, dear friends, as you go about the rest of your week, let's promise ourselves this, to be carriers of hope, vessels of love, and instruments of God's peace. And if you encounter trials, no, when you encounter trials, remember this sacred space we've created here today. Until we meet again, remember, you are never alone, for the one who created the heavens and the earth walks beside you every step of the way. God has your back. Stay blessed and keep the faith. Spread love and positivity wherever you go.